what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cheap inexpensive pool pond now you guys see a lot of youtubers on youtube who have pool ponds but they're just like really big and you know that you'd probably not have the kind of money to be going out and buying all that kind of stuff to make one but you would really like to have one so all you got to do is go to somewhere like walmart or somewhere and buy you like a little kiddie pool pond right here that's all you would have to buy I mean, they're only like seven, eight dollars, and especially right now with summer being gone and all that, and it going into fall, they're gonna be cheaper anyways. They're only like seven or eight dollars at Walmart. Now, guys, this is one that I've had for a while now. I've had turtles and I've had fish in here before, but I mean, it's always done the job. And I mean, it's it's deeper than you think. It's about I want to say like sixteen inches deep. I mean, it only looks about eight inches deep on the camera, but it's deeper than that. I guarantee you. So I mean, it works for like small to medium sized fish and then even like big turtles so i just cleaned it out just a few minutes ago i got to fill back up and i had turtles in here recently and i'm going to try to put my bass back in here and then catch a few other fish for the pond so that's basically what i'm doing right now so these are the three turtles that i had in there uh just yellow bellies red ears that's all i had in there i have other turtles i'm about to go and show you guys but that's pretty much all that I had in there. And then I had a few goldfish, a few mosquito fish, and that's about it. So these are the other turtles that I have right here. These are like my medium-sized turtles. I've got four of them in here. There goes one right there. Uh, all I have is just a little reptile filter and a little rock formation. And that's about it. That's all you need. And then this is where I keep my really small turtles, like my little baby turtles. i got four of them in here. Say one right there, one right there, one right there. And then there's one more somewhere. And I do have a basking light on here. Uh, I got them a little rock formation. I also have fish in there. I've got a little rock bass right there. I've got two green sunfish, and then I got a bluegill. And that's basically all I have in here. Here's the bass I was talking about. This is a bass I've had for a few few months now. Uh, well, he's only been in this tank for a few weeks though. Um, I caught him out of my pond, like I said, a few months ago. He was actually in that kitty pool pond that I was showing you guys a few minutes ago, and then it got a leak, so I had to put him in here. I've been feeding him really well, so um, you can see he's real fat. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but he's grown a lot, and um, so basically we're going to try to put him back in there within either today or probably tomorrow, and catch a few more fish for him. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly how I make this kiddie pool pond. Well, I don't make the kiddie pool pond, but I'm going to show you the steps of how to keep fish or to even keep turtles in here. So first, of course, you have to go and buy your kiddie pool pond, which is only like 7 or $8 at Walmart. Several stores have it, you know, you just, you gotta find one that for the right size that you want for, you gotta know what you wanna keep in the pond as well, and how big. Second step, you're gonna have to go and get two reptile filters right here. I think they're called Repti filters, uh, made by Tetra. Um, so, I mean, several companies make them, but you just need to go and buy two of these right here for the pond, size pond right there. Um, and that's basically it. And then whether or not you're going to be keeping turtles or fish, you're going to have to make some kind of rock formation in there and just go and find some big rocks out in your yard or somewhere or go and buy some kind of like stones or something because you're going to need this for the fish to have, you know, have cover when it's really hot or some outside or, you know, you're trying to get them real comfortable. They're going to need this. And then, of course, if you have turtles, you're going to need a rock formation and you're only going to want to fill the water line up to the rock formation so that way they can just swim right up to it and climb on top of it and then sit out in the sun. And then just drain the water like every one to two weeks and the filters will keep it clean and keep it pretty well clean out through the week and out through the time that you were not cleaning it out. And then it's also good to put it in a shaded area like I have I have some trees right around here that I'm like shading it with. That, that way not as much al algae grows in the tank and tank. Did I really just say tank? Kitty pool pond. I was thinking of a fish tank. And then that's it. You're good to go. Will you shut up? Can I please talk, Sabin? Please let me talk right now. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you have to do. And I mean, the pool ponds that you see with YouTubers, you know, those, those that all that stuff can cost up to like over hundreds of dollars, even like thousands of dollars, depending on how much stuff you put into it, how good you want and all that. But I mean, to be honest with you guys, this is good enough. And I mean, of course, I have a pond in my backyard anyway, so that's that's good enough for me. I mean, this is pretty cool, I think. I'm going to be, like I said, you know, I'm going to put the bass back in here. 
Uh, I'm probably going to try to catch a baby gar. Uh, try to get one or two plecos in here. And then um, two two baby pacus, which I already have, which I'm raising up. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you guys will probably not see the bass go into the kiddie pool pond in this video. That will probably be, probably be in the next video. So you'll just have to see that then. And I know I've been on a slack kind of lately about like not posting. I've just been really busy with things, but I'm going to get back on track and try to post a video for you guys every single day or almost every single day. I'm going to also be filming another video today. I'm going to try to film a catch and cook, and then I'll also be filming another video tomorrow on noodle line fishing. And then we'll go from there. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you guys in the next video.